Yeah, I've got a fantastic guest here, Reese Darby, and this guy used to be a chef apparently. So we're going to do a bit, <laughs> doing a bit of cooking in the kitchen today. <laughs> so we're making a Kiwi classic favourite, a family favourite, apple and fajoa crumble, because the fajoas are in season, so really easy. Are you Hopefully. seriously going to get these guys to help you? <laughs> Reese and Graham, great to have you here. Graham. Sorry, so Graham, um, Reese. How hey, are you? you good? <laughs> yeah, good. Nice. Uh, I don't know whether this is going to be a good idea getting... Oh, no. <laughs> OK, it started. <laughs> Sorry. Take them That's out. All right. That's all right. <laughs> probably, I probably shouldn't have come. <laughs> and, um, no, no, we're pleased you're here. Just try and, try and behave while you're here. Right. Grant, you're a bit of a chef. I used to be a chef um, a few years ago, yes, yes. I'm just noticing here he's going to mix some butter with nuts. <laughs> is that a oh. rookie mistake, my friend? <laughs> What, yeah, so what exactly are you going to be doing today? So we've got an apple and fajoa crumble. Uh, it was saying in season now, these fajoas are fantastic. So when they're in season, short season, so get in there, get some recipes done. Really easy one, making a beautiful crumble with walnuts and butter. No, not going And to oats. Yeah. Mm, and some mm. salt. You wouldn't, mix, you wouldn't mix those walnuts, would you, with the butter? <laughs> not anymore. Well, not these days, you know. Maybe back in the 90s, but... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a tough day, Mark. Oh, those apples are off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> OK. Radio. Right, coming up, Reese Darby and his reunion show. He's currently in the kitchen with Mark. It's complete chaos over there. I don't know if that feed Joe crumble's <laughs> ever going to get made. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> it's feed Joe season, Mike. Yes, that's right, Mel. I'm here in the kitchen with Mark. It is feed Joe season. I'm the type of guy that goes next door and steals them off the neighbours' trees. In fact, it's not the only thing I've yeah. stolen, actually. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a lot of feed Joe so what are we doing with them all, Mark? Right, so we're just going to scoop them out. So a little trick for you at home. Easiest way to peel the fajoa or to yep. get the flesh out. Cut it in half, teaspoon, and then just scoop it out like that. OK, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get some help. Reese, you can come and join us if you want. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, get round here, mate. <laughs> oh, not you, Grant. No, me? I think it was just... Just, just room for one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cool, so you get around there, you help, you help Mark. Oh, right. right. Mark. right so you, you can get on for Joe's. Right, we're just going to cook the apples down now. So just a little bit of butter, just warmed it up in a pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. It's all right, I'm allowed to get dirty in the kitchen. <laughs> Pop right. your apples in there. A little bit of sugar. So obviously you want to try your fruit to determine how much sugar you're going to put in. You know, Granny Smiths are quite tart anyway, so they do need a bit of sugar. And the Fijoas, you know, are quite tart as well. So it does take a little bit of sugar. Are you a Fijoa fan, Reese? Oh, who isn't? You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't get these in LA. Right. We, sometimes you can see them, but they don't call them Fijoas over there. Oh, I, I don't want to ask what they call them. What do they call them? Um, you don't know, do you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're a good kitchen hand. Big Hollywood star comes on our show, and here we are, putting him to work in the kitchen. Look, I love nothing more than getting in there and, you know, having a, having a muck. You know? Do you cook much at home? Oh, all the time. Oh, I bet yeah, you, you don't. Yeah, three meals a day, you know, I've got to look <laughs> after the family. And... <laughs> You're lying. So... OK, what are we up to here, Mark? All right, so we're just cooking the apples down. Got well, a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. So yeah, that's it smells a great, good, that Great mixture. spice in there. And then I'm just going to make the crumble. So I've just got some flour, some brown sugar, a little bit of soft room temperature butter, and we're just sort of bringing that together. Got some... It's like oats. a pixie's hat. <laughs> <laughs> You've you seen a pixie in the garden? It's oh, very oh, cute. Hello! Hello! I've got your keys! I've got your keys! Oh, good catch. Yeah. And that'll be scooped out, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so the ingredients for your crumble, what are you using? Your oats in there by the looks of it? So, yeah, it's just a bit of texture. We've got some oats in there and we've got some nuts in there as well. You know, butter and nuts, classic combination. Is that there. nuts? Nuts. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you know, you just want to get it like that. So we want some texture in the crumble. Wow. And then when we bake it, it's going to give us, like, a beautiful, crispy topping. And yeah. could you eat that like that? You could. It'd be a bit dry, though. Yeah, right? a little yeah. bit dry. It's better if you cook it. OK. But if you're in a rush... Yeah, like if just, we suddenly had to get out, out, out now. fire alarm. <laughs> Take it with us. <laughs> Pretty eight hat! Because <laughs> otherwise the firemen will get into it, won't they? They will, actually. Yeah, they, they, they often hang do it around for the food. <laughs> so if you need to, just a little splash of water, and that'll just help break everything down. So remind us what we've got in here. We've got the apples, we've got cinnamon and a little bit of butter. Boy, and a little bit of sugar as right. well. Okay. And then sugar, we've got the right. we've got the here. Oh, and then we're just going to pop them in. You're a star, look at that. Oh, oh lovely. Nice. <laughs> and then all we want to do is just cook this down. <laughs> so we're starting with the apples, and you're going to put the fajos in like halfway through because they're, okay. they're going to uh, break down a lot faster than the apple. 
Nice, it's smelling incredible. So the mixture of apples, fijawa, cinnamon, Reese's here. And <laughs> anyone can do this, can they? Pretty much. Most okay. people can All right. do this. You know, wow. it's, not, it's not too demanding. OK, well, I might put that on, so, the, uh, on the menu at home. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a winner. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I feel like you could just take over, Reese. I, I could go home. Go yeah. home! Go home! <laughs> I mean, you're not needed here. Yeah, you know. Right. Okay, sweet. So, the recipe is always at thecafe.co.nz if you want to try this. Plenty of fijawas around. If you don't have any in your yard, I'm sure there's somebody's house close where the tree is hanging over the fence. You can just steal them. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I was going to ruin the recipe now. Oh, cushions. You into pranks? Oh, I've been known to do a few pranks in the kitchen. <laughs> anyway, back to the cool <laughs> <laughs> Back Off to the crumble. <laughs> so the crumble's out of the oven. It's beautiful and golden. Just going to finish it with some nice uh, vanilla ice cream here, and then you guys can try it. And I've just got to say, this is the hardest crumble I've ever made. <laughs> oh, because of the help. <laughs> There you go, get stuck in. Oh, yeah, there you and go. And I, I, I yes, helped with that, of course. Yes, so. well, there you yeah. go. There's a nice spoon for you. Can eat yeah. it then. One for you. Oh, look, we've got a grant bag. Yeah. Oh, there he is. See, it's, I told you. It's a spoon for you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there you go, you, you can dip in first dibs.